Hi, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Yakima Showdown Kayak Lift Assist System. Here we have it installed on this vehicle, fully loaded, and we'll go ahead and show you some of the features to it, uh, unload the kayak and reload it so you can get a good feel for all the features and how this, uh, this uh, carrier works. So for starters, it's important to know it's uh, attached onto a Yakima roof rack, which is sold separately. Um, some requirements that are necessary to accommodate this, this design is that you have at least three inches of bar extended out past the tower. If you want to carry two of these showdowns, it requires a minimum of a 60 inch load bar. And with a 60 inch load bar, you could have two side by side. Also, when it's in the down position, it'll need to have at least four inches of clearance uh, between the inner edges of the uh, loading assembly and the side of the vehicle. Also, you'll notice we have the rearview mirror tucked in so that when you're raising and lowering, there's no chance of, uh, of hitting the side of that. So to take it uh, from the carrying position off, we just want to go ahead and uh, first remove the bow stern tie downs. So these are... This is currently hooked into the uh, rear bumper. There's a quick release buckle at the top. And you have a strong nylon non-stretch strap, some plastic tubing covering the strap to protect the painted surface of the vehicle and a good strong hook at the end. And I'll unhook it at the front as well. Okay, so when you're ready to release it um, from its carrying locked position, you have to remove the, the safety pins that are held uh, with a lanyard. Okay, now with those removed, you have these two handles and those handles allow you to pull out and then bring it down. So by, by having this, this articulating motion, it's helping to uh, assist in, in managing the boat and its weight. This can carry up to an 80 pound kayak. It's also capable of carrying paddle boards as well. So you can carry two paddle boards, also weighing up to 80 pounds total. Currently we have it configured for a kayak so you can see there's also a paddleboard cradle and you can see the difference here. There's two slightly different shapes. So this is the one that you would use if you're transporting paddleboards. And for this demonstration we're doing a kayak so you can see we have the kayak cradle in place. Also we have these adjustments up top which are designed to get the perfect positioning. Uh, against the uh, against the hull and there it's a variable adjust and you just tighten it with the turn knob so we'll look at that a little closer in a moment okay so I have the straps released I'll go ahead and disconnect those straps these are high quality non-stretch straps with a cam buckle and a rubber buckle cover to protect the vehicle when it's when it's being uh, transported and just whenever it's being managed around the vehicle uh, you're saving your the possibility of denting the vehicle by having this nice rubber coating on it the way these work is simply running the strap into the backside you depress the the push button the spring-loaded push button press that in and insert it so these are all designed to where once it's in, it won't release, but you can always pull more through to make it tighter. But once it's in, it won't release until you release that, this button right here. So a good quality strap is included. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and pull the kayak off. We can just set that on the ground and I'll be able to show you some other details to the design. Okay, so here are up close, you can see these cradles are easily adjustable to match the hull of the boat. These are your support bars that are ex extend out while you're loading. When you're transporting without, when you're traveling without the boat, those tuck away and these can, can be, it's a lower 
uh, lower overall height. Also, if you want to remove the entire assembly from the crossbars, it's extremely easy. It's just a simple tools-free turn knob. You unscrew the knob, and that's all it takes to release it from, from the bar. Now, it's also important to realize that because it's so easy to release, that it's definitely advisable to purchase the lock cylinders that would plug in in place of this uh, plastic plug. So Yakima has their same key system, SKS for short, and that would allow you to insert a set of lock cylinders. In this case, you would need a set of two to lock each of the housings. And then you also have an, a separate accessory which is called the rip cord, and those are locking straps that can be used in place of the straps that are included. And so uh, you have several options for security, not just for the, the carrier, but also for um, the, the boards or uh, kayaks. Okay, so um, now we'll go ahead and demonstrate how to reload the kayak. So I'll go ahead and extend these lift assemblies out. And you can see here that we have plenty of clearance between the vehicle and the uh, inner edge. So that there's a, requires a minimum of, of four inches. That way if there's flex, which this unit has very little flex, but if there is flex, uh, it won't uh, touch the side of the vehicle. Next, we'll extend these down. While I'm doing that, let me show, uh, it's very important to understand that, that this, this uh, uh, portion right here is not intended uh, as a strap point. So the strap points are, are here and also up here. So those are the two strap points, very important to uh, not strap to here and that's why that tape is there as a, um, as a cautionary measure. Okay, so now with those in place, when you lift the boat, at the time that you're lifting the boat, it's very important to find the center of the weight of the boat. Not the center of the length, but the weight. And so you find, find where it has a nice even balance, and then that should be centered between the two assemblies here. So you do have to get it up to that height. And then you can make your adjustments with these cradles so that it's actually supporting the hull in a, in a good location. Okay, then actually in the instructions, which I skipped over, you, you want to run this strap through that upper cradle first. I can probably still reach to it easy enough. I'll just run it through and then let it come back down. Okay, so simple enough there. So the, uh, the finish where you want to remove all the slack it's basically with the buckle about centered there. So I'm going to take the other plain end and do the same thing and run that through the other anchor point. Okay. Now, if you're, uh, you don't have to be concerned about there being twists. If anything, it's actually a good idea to have some twists where there's strap going over the cockpit because that'll help minimize wind noise compared to having uh, a flat strap facing the wind. Flat straps tend to create quite a bit of um, turbulence, whereas a twisted strap can be significantly quieter. Okay, so notice how I take the slack out. I'm pulling and pulling out access here, pushing it towards the, the buckle and pulling out the slack. Okay, and then excess, for the demonstration video, I'll just tuck it in there. It's best to um, make sure that that's not going to flap around either. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with the with the front. Okay, got my buckle in place. Second anchor point ready. And then run the strap through the back side of the buckle and remove our slack. Okay, feed the back side and pull out the tension. Got a good secure fit 
onto the vehicle now. Okay, so now it's time to lift. So when we lift, just grab the handles and lift and slide. Let's do that again. So down, like so, and then up and slide. So you get lots of control. It manages uh, the, the weight in a way that relieves a lot of a lot of stress and it simplifies the lifting of a big heavy boat. Okay, so you get a feel for that. Now, before we drive away, of course, we want to insert our safety pins. Okay, put the retention clip on, very important. Okay, and then we'll go back to the front. We've got a hard point up underneath. And when it comes to the bowster and tie downs, it's just a, a little bit of tension is all that's necessary. That tension just helps to prevent the, the strong lift force that wind and driving speeds can apply to the boat. And so it's an important safety feature. Okay, so there you've seen the boat loaded, unloaded, um, all the key features. Of course, we have a lot more detail about this rack, um, more technical information, uh, pricing, and our promotions all available on our website at rackoutfitters.com. We hope this video has been useful to you. Please uh, comment in the, uh, at the YouTube comments below and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching.